Hello again, everyone. Kelsey here. I am going to quickly explain assignments three and four. So assignment three is your petition for your certificate and a little write-up of what your plan is after this. So I have a link to a Word doc here that kind of walks you through it. To petition for your certificate, you have to follow all these steps to apply to graduate. In order to do this, you have to have already created an ed plan with a counselor, which I encouraged you all to do earlier this semester. If you haven't done that, I would go to the schedule a counseling appointment page, which I have linked there, um, ASAP, and see if they can schedule a virtual appointment for you so they can set up your ed plan so you can then apply to graduate, which is the link here that takes you here. This needs to be done by April 30th to graduate in spring. So you're going to want to get those steps going ASAP. Um, in addition to this, I would like you to do a one-page write-up that talks about what are your career goals in the health and fitness industry, where do you ultimately want to be, what do you want to do, and what are your next steps to get there, educational or, or otherwise. And this should be about a single-page paragraph style response. Finally, the exit survey that we've created, you'll click this link and it'll take you to a brief Google form survey, which will just give us some feedback about your time in the program. So these are the three steps. This is just some in additional info on business entrepreneurship and marketing classes that many students have asked us about in the past, but these are the three steps you have to complete as part of this third assignment. Let me go back here. So that's assignment number three. And then, and now this assignment isn't due until May 15th, so you don't have to turn it in until then, but you need to petition for your certificate by April 30th. So please make sure that you've done that. Petition to graduate will be your petition to certificate for your certificate. Please make sure you've done that if you want to get that in your spring semester. If you still have something to do, like your internship, for example, you have more time and you'll be able to petition to graduate in the summer. And then last but not least, your social media page. So I'd like you to develop some social media page. You don't have to blast this out to people yet, but I'd like you to develop something for your role as a fitness professional. So this could be a Yelp page, especially if you're going to start your own business, an Instagram, a LinkedIn page, a Facebook. You can try something else as long as you clear it by us. And this is for you as a fitness professional, not you as whatever you've done before. So this needs to be specified. So you should have your name and any um, applicable contact information or your location, a description of the services that you're going to provide. It would be great to have a picture of services, even if you could get a couple pictures of you mock training a friend or you training yourself, some kind of pictures, or, or, or even just a nice headshot of yourself. Some kind of picture is going to help set you apart. And then it'd be great to have a review. This one's not necessary, but it would be nice if you could have this. Um, it could even be from a classmate who you've practiced training or a friend who you've practiced training. So do practice training if you can. Um, and then, of course, please don't include anything that's inappropriate, text or photo-wise, and anything that would be unsafe for you to share. So this is just to kind of start getting a social or an online presence, and you can pick whichever of these seems most appropriate to you. So that's the fourth one. Um, and then just a reminder that you'll have guest speaker reflections for all of the five guest speakers. These are listed in the modules week by week. And you also have quizzes. There's a couple more. You have quizzes each week um, for the content that you are required to cover either in the reading or the PowerPoints. That's all for now. Bye.